Hi, I'm Skyler. If you've got a MacBook Pro and iTunes won't open, there are a couple different things you could try in order to solve this problem. First, I'm going to recommend that you trash your preferences. Wait, what? Check this out. So, in Finder, hold the Option key on your keyboard and click Go. You'll notice that when I let go of Option, a few things change. Most importantly, Library disappears when I'm not holding Option, and it appears when I am. So hold Option, click Library. The library is where applications store all the important stuff that they require in order to run. It's also where preferences are stored. This is the folder called Preferences that we want to look at. Now, if you scroll through this list, you'll see a long line of things called com.apple.something. Continue to scroll down, and you'll eventually see com.apple.itunes. There it is. So there are a couple different things here. What you're looking for is this, com.apple.itunes.plist and the lock file. So grab them both, hold Command, and press Delete. That sends both of those things to the trash. The next time you start iTunes, it will rebuild those preferences files. And that alone could have solved the issue. But what I recommend doing is before you start iTunes again, Click the Apple icon in the upper left of your screen and click Software Update. Software Update will open the App Store, reach out to the internet, and find out if you've got any software updates available. Run these first and restart your computer before you attempt to open iTunes again. That will ensure you probably the best chance of success in getting it working. If you do that, I think the problem will be solved. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.